okay. So that situation went down. What about the Barclay situation? Were you around I for that? There. You, because this was okay, after let me you, tell you split off. Let me tell you something. A lot of people ask, damn, how didn't you get indicted? That's your whole crew to trade with. How didn't you get locked up for the guys? You got to think about it. Let's think about it. Let's use common sense. This is what they got indicted for. Racketeering, the Barclay Center shooting, the Chief Keith, the threatening Chief Keith, the robbery in the hotel with the dude and all that. And it's all over the media. You and can't, you weren't there for any of that I shit. I wasn't there for none of that shit. Remember, we had got into the little beef and shit, like maybe going up to a year, we, we rocked and then all this shit started happening. So how the fuck did I get caught up in this indictment? You know, Seiko or Miss Treyway, shout out to Chanel, shout out to Miss Treyway. It's a lot of us that never got locked up. Nobody really got locked up from Treyway, but 6 9 and Shoddy, the Crip dude and a bunch of other dudes. They just like, who the fuck got locked down from the original crew? It was mad of us, none of us. Right. So so when did you actually decide to, that you'd seen enough and that you wanted to bail out on the situation? What okay, else had to happen before you all did? Right, this is how it, it, we kind of fell out. Before this, you got to think I never had no problems with Danny. He was my friend. I actually had an apartment in Bushwick, too. So I lived literally right up the block from his, his right up the block from where he lived at. So he used to come over my house a lot. We used to um, chill a lot. We was really a lot. We got a lot closer really than everybody else. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Because if you see a lot, you used to see me and him, the bros and shit together. But I'm with him a lot. I was one of the first. Let me tell you what happened. This is the story of how I went to L.A. You remember they... Um, they canceled the show. They canceled the shows in LA at first. Uh -huh. We had two shows. It was what the fuck was going on that weekend? All Star Weekend was going mm. on that year. All Star Weekend was in LA, and we had a bunch of shows booked all over the internet. I'm lit. I'm like, shit, we about to be on fucking. Oh shit, we let we go to LA. <laughs> One show get canceled. Another show get canceled. The promoters, they getting scared. It's going to be too much. Da, da, da. That's when we outside and Roe had just came home. So they decided to make that video. You know, sure, you remember that shit? We still come to LA. Da, da, da. I had my hair dyed red at the time. Right. And Nobody out there. You seen how much people was out there? Yeah. Can we go to that video? Bro, let me tell you how much these people didn't give a fuck, and I didn't see how Danny didn't realize it. None of the motherfuckers came to L.A. Mm. Not one of the motherfuckers. Didn't come to L.A. And normally every, everybody wants to go on Going a trip everywhere. with the poppin' rapper, right? Scared with this pop, they were scared, bro. Right. They were scared. So at this point, you're starting to feel like you're the only one who's really deeply invest in this or are you starting to realize the, that nobody yeah, else really gives a bros, shit i'm starting to realize it like what the fuck is going on here like shoddy didn't go how the fuck such a shit happened and we make such a big video and you don't show up to la you don't come he called me he called me um um he called me this how i went to la he called me seven in the morning he's like your order what you doing bro I'm like, bro, I'm asleep. <laughs> What's up? It's man early. He's like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. We got a flight to Arizona to catch in like two hours, so we gotta hurry up and get to JFK. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, right after that, we're going to LA. Remember, we said, told everybody we was going to LA. We gotta go up to LA. We gotta at least show our face. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, man. Fuck it. I jump out my bed. I grab a suitcase, bro. I throw some shit in the suitcase. I brush my teeth and I get out the door. That's how down I was. You That's know what the saying? rapper lifestyle right there. If you want to be down with the rapper, you got to be willing to you get up on to just give everything 10 minutes up. notice. Yeah, exactly. So, OK, that that. So so then you go to L.A. I didn't go to L.A. We oh. went to Arizona first. That right. was the beginning of the tour. We went to Arizona, the Day 69 tour. That was the first one. It started in Arizona. And most of the, the stuff that just the uh, the fucking. The 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 the, um, the All Star Weekend shit was also on the tour, but got canceled. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That was a part of the tour. So we was like, fuck it, we still gonna do the tour and do these states, and we just still gonna pass through L. A. You know what I mean? And fucking end up in Houston. We still did shows in Houston and all that, and we kept going. You know what I'm saying? But we was like, fuck it, let's just stop in L. A. Still, you know what I'm saying? We thinking in our mind, we thinking it can't be this serious. We don't know that dudes is really this mad. They are not gonna kill us, but they gonna shoot us in L. A. We got the music. Like this is how we think. If anything go down, of course we gonna ride, but we not out here for that. These dudes really this mad? I'm, in my mind, I'm like they can't be this mad. We don't even know these dudes from the candy paint. They just see the colorful hair dude and his his, his, his these dudes back him and they like damn y'all want to kill us that's what i'm thinking for what mm. what the fuck what the fuck is the beef about i know i know people who basically have told me that like other people that they know were like on the prowl like yes. cruising looking for for him to be caught so i mean it was definitely going down there's a lot of people in la who don't really got much going for them besides their pride in their gang you know so at the end of the day like they're more than willing to yeah, that's do everywhere. That's, that's everywhere. what you do, bro. That's, that's what you're everywhere. To do. But mm -hmm. it wasn't no disrespect to none of these dudes in LA or, or their gang or their pride. Nobody disrespected no gang, you know what I'm saying? At all. Never. If disrespect, why the fuck would we disrespect a whole gang? How are we going to disrespect a whole gang and come back to New York? We can't disrespect the Chris. We're blood. We did, it's over. Like, nobody doing no dumb shit like that. Mm -hmm. it was, these dudes was just taking it the wrong way for, for what reason I didn't get. But that happened or whatever. We left. We get to Houston. We do the show. 
We fly back, everything good. We finally get back to New York for all that shit. The whole New York going crazy. We back, LA, all this crazy shit didn't happen. We goes out that night. I'd say that same night, I told Shadi, I'm like, yo, we just got back. Nobody even went with us. Why y'all trying to force this nigga to go out? Like, niggas trying to sleep. I'm tired too. He's like, nah, you just got back. We got to show our face and da da. We go out to the club. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't do none of that from the day I met him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Never drunk, never smoked that day in his life. So they forcing him to drink. He falls out, boom, face first, boom. I had to grab him, pick him up, take him to the car. Nobody never be looking for him and go to, I go to his house, I check on his mom. He lived, like, he be getting on the internet and saying all them dirty blood niggas and all them shit. Bro, he was a dirty bum dude. The house he lived in with his mom, the door was broken in. He lived in bum ass Bushwick. So don't get on the internet and say these dirty bum niggas when you grew up just like us, a dirty bum. And we sit there and we helped you and made you rise to your career. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Have some sort of respect. You feel me? He's bugging out. Yeah, that was the mind blowing thing is when you first heard him in that interview saying, like, oh, dirty blood. And it's like, like even for me as an observer, it's like you were dying to be associated with these dudes. You was dirty too. You didn't have no sauce. You didn't have no money. You didn't have nothing. You you was from right there. Then the main thing that got me thing, he gets on the internet. He goes on the breakfast club, I think. And the man says, I started Treyway. Mm. I was one of the real dudes. I started all this shit, which is a fucking lie. Any shoddy, none of that, bro. You see this book, bro? And this this came out in what, 93? This came out in 2013. 13. 13. Okay. The big bro wrote this that died. You know what I'm saying? Garland mm-hmm. Tyree SI. Shout out to the big bro. RIP Big Bro. We love you. You know what I'm saying? We still trying to live on your legacy. If you read this book, it says nothing about the stuff that people was trained. The Treyway, 2013. We didn't know him in 2013. You can look at that for yourself. Put it in the camera. You can get these books on Amazon and everything. So no, everybody know we're, li- we're not lying. We're telling the truth. How the fuck is there a book called The Treyway? If you how old was he in 2013? He was really fucking young or something, right? He was right. Like, <laughs> How old he was probably like twelve. You but know at that saying? time, don't you feel like that was basically just him trying to to distance himself from the group? And yes, but it was the things he was saying. It was lies. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't go and, we, and you, we don't have the the opportunity to go on the breakfast club and say what you're saying and straighten this all up. Lies for games. Most of the stuff he did was lies and bullshit. And you know what I'm saying? And it was a bunch of bullshit. And just knowing that he's his force of personality was going to be able to carry him through that. Like even when he goes on those rants and says they was fucking my baby mama, they was trying to do this, they were trying to blah blah blah. It's like you're making accusations that maybe are accurate about one person or one person, but Listen, like there's like eight people who are bro, in jail because he, of this shit. Like mad people went to jail. Mad people's away from their daughters, their sons, their family, their aunts, their uncles, their wives, their husbands. For what? For what, bro? Hmm. For for you? For for you saying he gets on there on, on that live he did the other day and this dude says, oh. They fuck them niggas. They they fuck my baby moms. They stole my bread. They da 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 da. Bro, you talking about Shadi? Say Shadi's name and everything you feel like he right. did. And I don't even know if he really fucks Savage. Six Nine has a way of lying and getting what he wants and, and pulling stuff in. He's good at marketing. He's very intelligent mm. in what he does. I don't even know if that nobody even know if that really went down. Who the fuck knows? Right. You know what I'm saying? But them and the crew. However, he may have found out. It might be true. I'm not saying he lying. But as far as anything else, whoever stole any money from you, I right. never stole a dime from him. He wasn't giving us shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to feed your team. You got to feed the wolves. He was thinking he could feed one person and they was going to do everything and he was giving me money and nothing little stuff and uh, the close ones was getting little things but everybody else wasn't getting nothing it was a lot of bros that shows a lot of bros risking their life a lot of brothers that was there helping you they they not they pursue everybody helping you pursue your career mm. nobody this is not for nobody else you ain't got for Seiko or rap or a few more rappers we here to help you pursue your career right and I mean, but that I, one thing I heard from people pretty early on was that Six Nine was basically just being super stingy with the cloud. Like he didn't want to yeah, tag he didn't any of the tag people. nobody. Even the people that he was around every Even day, around, he wasn't bro. tagging them, putting he them on the story. He only used to none. post me up and tag me sometimes. That's it. He never posts nobody. He posts Seiko song, little blue, take it right down. He was stingy with the cloud, and I didn't get why. You, I was like, yo, this time he got like a million followers too. And I'm like, yo, Danny, post some other shit. Yo, help the bro. You know, I got him fucking. Him. I don't know why he was like that, but he was just was. Cause you never know. He didn't have no long term. From Jeopardy in his mind and fucking with us like that. You know what I'm mm. saying? He was doing it for game. He got trippy red, can't say nothing to him now. Yeah, what now? He felt kind of big at this time. Mm. He took it, but taking back to what you was asking me, this is how it, we all fell out, though. Mm. We never had no beef. Nobody never stole no money. Nothing never went wrong. We was all cool. Everything was good. We fly back from the, from the Houston and LA and all that shit happened. They fly. Shadi takes him and two more people by himself. He don't tell nobody about that. I'm in Atlanta. I'm, fly, I'm flying back to New York. I had, they had told my car and some more stuff had happened, and I needed some bread I couldn't get to, so I called Danny. I was like, yo, Danny, I need you to um, wire me $5,000 somewhere. My car is fucked up. I'm in Atlanta. Duh, duh, duh. I can't get to no bread right now. Danny's like, okay, Otto, I'm on the way to Houston with Shadi. This is the last cool conversation we had before everything. He says, I'm on the way to Houston with Shadi. 
with, I'm going to wire the bread soon if I get there, and we're going to talk when, when I get back. Just let me know what's up. When I get back, I meet you back in New York. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to send the bread now. He sends the bread. Everything's cool. I go. At this time, Shadi goes out there with his stuff. So now I'm watching this shit from the internet. I'm on my, I'm on, I'm on my phones. I'm like, what the fuck going on? He got this nigga out here. I'm calling Shadi. He's like, everything good. Da, 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 da. They go out there. This is when the Jay Prince ha shit happened. Mm. They go out there. They're in a sneaker store. Jay Prince here. They're in the sneaker store. Jay Prince Jr. He comes to the sneaker store with mad of his mans. Boom, boom. I guess he talk. He tell y'all, yo, y'all out here, whatever, whatever. He invites them to a party or something or something like that that he doing. It's right? like a World Star show, right? It's not the not the World Star show. That don't happen yet. This okay. is a little like private. private shit. We I was out there for the World Star show when when all that shit happened. I was there. Okay. So. It was some little private party that he was having. He was having a little saying or something. He was supposed to be announcing or something. He tells them to be there at 12 o'clock. Please don't be late. I guess he got some announcing he's making. Everybody's eager to hear it in Texas. You know, he's really big in Texas. And Jay, Jay Prince, Prince Jr. asked you to show up somewhere in Texas. You should probably Texas, do it. At 12, you should be there at 1130. Yeah, I'll be Showing there at 1130. I'll yeah. be happy. Not even out of no other shit. Fucking Jay Prince Jr. told me to pull up. Nigga, I'm there at 1130. I was lit. Yeah. It's fucking Jay And Prince a lot Jr. of people know that you show Jay Prince and his family that respect. that respect. Even if they don't really know why they're showing him the respect, they just know that you know, these guys fuck hold it. a lot just of respect. Out of, you know, out of respect. And this is their state. This is where, you know, you, you check in. Because they're not even on, like, the most gangster shit. They're just on some, they just want you to show your respect when you're yeah, around Yeah, they right? wasn't even, like, the shit we was going to L.A., we going to kill y'all. It wasn't even no shit right. like that. They just want you to show a little respect. And that's cool. That's cool anyway. Like, when you come to New York, show respect. I don't fuck with nobody. I don't care who you is. You come out here. I don't be trying to pull up on dudes and all that extra shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do your thing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't stopping my bread. So, guess what time Shadi shows up to the motherfucker? I'm one o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> After one o'clock. The dude, he said show up at 12. He probably been said what he had to say and shit. So you know what he does? He has the security and his man stop him at the door. Don't let him in. He said, don't let him in. They're good. That's the mad disrespectful. Y'all gonna come after one o'clock. You know, they started all the thing. You they had the video, they kicked him out the shit. Hmm. Stupid. Still, you out there with Danny yourself and two more people. You don't tell nobody about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm calling Danny. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? He's like, yo, this shit is crazy. Da -da -da. We just got this little spot. Da -da -da. He's like, everything good. We about to come back. The World Star Show is in three days after that. Three days after that, do you know what Shadi does again? What? He flies back to New York. I don't know how Danny are not seeing these signs. The man didn't come to L.A. with you. He didn't fight. He never fought with you at no shows. He didn't fight at the Yams Day concert. He just got punched in his face. In Minnesota, when that shit happened, you ever seen that shit? What the fuck was going on? The Super Bowl was going that year. Right. That, that year was the Super Bowl. We went to Minnesota. It was zero between 10 degrees. We had a fight over there. Some dudes paid us $8,000 for a, a walkthrough, and the dude was saying, oh, do two songs. And we're like, nah, nah, we're not doing too songs. Y'all just paid us for a walkthrough. We got the World Star um, Hip Hop Party for the, um, for the Super Bowl game. Thugger, baby, everybody's supposed to be here. <laughs> we out. <laughs> we did our show. We came through. We showed respect. It was his birthday party. We did that. We showed respect. <clears throat> we got to go. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He like, fuck that. Give us our bread back. Like, I don't know. We've been here for almost an hour. We're not giving you no fucking bread back. We ain't never staying away that long. What the fuck is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. So we go outside. That's when that little fight happened. You know what I'm saying? Shadi wasn't there. Fast forward back to the Texas shit. The nigga, Chadi, flies back to New York. How do you fly back to New York? And the world starts shows in three days. So now Danny's getting out, he's scrambling. Me and Harv calling him. We like, yo, yo, we about to come out there. He like, oh, I don't know. Chadi telling me niggas shit was wrong. We arguing. We got a group text at this time. It's me, him, it's only like 10 of us in there. We arguing in the group text, man, shit going on. And we're, we're wilding. We telling Shadi, we telling him, how, yo, stop, yo, Shadi, you bugging out. Shadi's on some Shook Knight shit. He got his mind thing. He's just trying to, thing. He trying to get artists. He's just trying to do mad shit by himself. He's trying to steal the name of Treyway. He having Treyway pop up shops by himself. Like, he's just losing his mind. When that's not none of our stuff, that's, you seen what that was. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. like, what's wrong? Because that's a big deal for anybody that's in like the gang shit is that you can't just do like a commercial version of the gang thing. And be the only one making money the off it. That is very shit. that shit gets real touchy yeah, real quick. Taking the label name, the mm -hmm. whole Treyway label is. You know what I'm saying that Seiko Billy shit. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying he the started label. it as a label. It came from the big bro, but as far as a label and music, he the one started it. Start saying this how we gonna jack yeah, it. You know what I'm saying y'all see the book, go check it out on Amazon. And, you know and, what I'm saying by Garland Tyree. Another classic interview in the books. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and head on over to NoJumper.com to support. Appreciate y'all.